Hello everyone, Max here. Hello everyone, Max here with Fabian Website Pro, and today we're going to be talking about the new Easy Blue system that we coded up. And um, so you might ask me, why did you code up another content management system? We have WordPress and other content management systems out there. Well, the fact of the matter is that you know we have thousands of clients on WordPress sites and so on and so forth, and you know they're getting hacked. We're, we're repairing. <laughs> hack sites a lot and they're getting slower and slower and slower to a snail's pace which is affecting their revenue and so on and so forth so uh, I decided to come up with a solution and that's why I programmed easy blue CMS so this is this is for those clients and some of the things that need to come right out of the box for a website for people that just don't know coding they want to get to their business and start getting to work and they need to know that they have the things that they need right and uh, so that's that's what what is important and so we're including this with easy blue and in uh, future uh, updates with easy blue what we're going to be doing is including very valuable things and we already have stuff straight out of the box that no other content management system has the biggest thing is speed you will notice that easy blue is one of the fastest uh, content management systems out there I mean there's probably no content management system out there that beats the speed and performance of Easy Blue. If we uh, look at the uh, performance report for Easy Blue, we see we get A scores, you know, all over the place, and we're still not even using a content delivery network. So this is the way it is right out of the box. Okay, you know, this isn't further development. This is Easy Blue out of the box. We get page loads in under a second. You know, we're looking at milliseconds. If you look at the uh, test results from uh, uh, pingdom tools you can see it's 600 milliseconds load time you know very few requests and uh, you know the, the the grade on it is 96 over 100 I mean you're not going to get much better with than that with something straight out of the box basically I uploaded easy blue I put a post on it and I tested it and you know this is the way it is <clears throat> so and some of the other things that come with easy blue is I have uh, I already have a client on uh, you know this is an easy blue system right here at legal steroids depot and you know he he runs a product he he runs a, a website you know that, sell, that sells product and if you're familiar with schema which every website should have schema data in it uh, whenever you test the uh, the URLs you could see that it's all good you know you have all of these things that you all that you need out of the box you know all these uh, uh, markups the uh, the meta tags that you need at the top and so on and so forth already come out of straight out of the box with easy blue now let's take a look at this dashboard this dashboard is very simple yet it's very powerful whenever you first log in the page is going to look like this okay you're ready to make your next post so you put your title your content uh, to upload media uploading media is a breeze you know you just select your picture upload that image you know and then you can choose the thumbnail or the regular size or if you wanted to upload another image grab this URL and you know use it in your post you know uh, it's a it's a very very simple process and here you know you can align the image left right center so on and so forth put a meta description category tags keywords you know have your featured image in there your company logo all of these things are required by schema you know and you don't get this kind of stuff with uh, WordPress and and the other ones that are straight out of the box you have to install another plugin another plugin that slows your website down that's pulling in more scripts and so on and so forth to edit your post is a breeze as well you know and if you want to delete it ask if you are sure you know, you can click yes or no you can search your post uh, same thing with uh, pages and products here you know if you get if you decide to this thing's already ready to go with your products uh, you know here's your orders your shipping charges you know galleries if you wanted to make more galleries and uh, here's your 301 redirects and these these real redirects work really good so uh, you know for instance we have uh, easy blue max that doesn't actually exist on the server let me uh, let me show you how to do a redirect it's it's, it's really really simple and easy blue so let's the, let's say we had X Y Z out there somewhere in cyberspace, and they come to our website and they get this 404 not found page. Okay, all you do is you copy that URL 
or you could get it from you go Google Webmaster Tools, download the whole data, and put them in here. The original URL, the one that needs redirected, and then maybe we'll redirect it to a real page like About Us. So let's direct XYZ to About Us. You paste it in there, add 301 redirect, and you can see that it's added. So now if we go visit this XYZ, it should redirect us to the About Us page. So let's just go there, and voila, you see how it just it just forwards them there. That's a permanent 301 redirect. And you can put as many of them as you want to in there. And people are none the wiser. And you get them to the content where they need to be. You need to edit your HD access file. It's right here. You know, uh, And I've included that on a lot of things. Here's the default HD access. If you ever screw up your HD access, you could repair it by just copying and pasting this. Okay. So that was one of the other things that I wanted to be sure of uh, to give people. Um, Another thing is custom CSS. You know, if you need uh, to write a custom CSS code, you know, where you want to overwrite the color or whatever, uh, you could do that. You know, use a different font, whatever you want. Just paste it right in there and you're good to go. Here you can manage your users. You know, how many users that you have. You can, uh, you know, give them admin pr privileges, subscriber, editor privileges, just like uh, the other ones. Just like you have on WordPress. Here's layout. So layout uh, is, is, a, is a breeze now. You know how, uh, you know, manipulating your header in some of these content management systems is a nightmare. Well, here you just go and you put in, just like you do in the post and pages. You just put your header, uh, do it the way you want it, and, you know, hit submit. If you have any scripts or anything you need to put in your header, just click that button right there, like your analytics code. Scroll down and put your analytics code right in the code, and then hit submit. If you ever screw up, you don't have to worry about the entire website coming down like you do in WordPress. All you do is copy this default content, put it back in there, and start over. It's a very, very simple. So uh, if you wanted to change the area, you could go to your sidebar. You can edit that any way you want, or your footer. So... There's a lot of good things with EasyBlue. And the other thing that I'd like to mention is that EasyBlue is already mobile optimized. So, you know, if you if, they, if somebody brings your website up on a mobile device, you already have your, uh, you know, your, your drop down there where the people could search your posts and so on and so forth. So we'll go EasyBlue. And you can see that it is just a very, very fast machine. Okay. Um, there's a lot of other things, but I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted uh, to highlight some of the things about EasyBlue and why it's going to be good for webmasters and developers uh, out there that, you know, that have clients that need something that <laughs> clients need speed and they need to get indexed and, and, and so on and so forth. Um, everything is operated off these options where, you know, you set your company name, your title website, what, what you want your home page to be. Be a product list, a list of recent posts, or a page that you've published, your address, your Google Plus, uh, so on and so forth. Like I said, that that will these particular uh, icons here will only generate. If you don't have a Twitter, that won't even show up. So uh, the one more thing that I wanted to mention is whenever you're in your your uh, pages, articles, or products. So let's go to the articles. If you come down here, and let's say that you wanted to take out the reviews or whatever in your articles page, you know, you could just take them out. You know, these, uh, the review form, the review articles, just take them out and hit submit. Uh, that's all there is to it. There's really no big deal. You just take these things out that you, that you need uh, out of there or put things in that you want in there. And, uh, for instance, if you were going to do a... Uh, you know, if you were going to create a gallery, a gallery is, you know, pretty simple to create. Uh, you just put it in your image source and, you know, what, what you want to call it. And then you can, you know, check out these image galleries. And here's one right here. If we wanted to grab this, copy, we'll just, I'm just copying that little short code there. And we go to our post options where there's articles. And the reason why I'm going fast here is because uh, I don't have to go slow. The server's not slowing me down. So I, I can actually go as, as fast as I want. Oh, let's see here. Maybe we'll put the gallery, I don't know. Let's put it at the bottom, just like right here. Gallery Easy Blue, hit Submit. Now whenever they go to the post pages, you know, we'll go, we'll go to the, one of these post news articles. If we scroll to the bottom, we should see that gallery. And we do. And it's real nice and big. And it's going to show up 
on mobile devices and so on and so forth. And it'll auto go and uh, whatever. And you can actually uh, target this, inspect element, and adjust the sizes and whatever else you needed to do, uh, you know, in the admin panel under custom CSS. But, you know, if you didn't want that, which I don't want that down there, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here and go to that gallery. Simply remove it, hit submit, and refresh the page. Voila, it's out of there. Okay, so it's it's very fast and also structured data. You know, you have to have the structured data whenever you're doing products. Uh, you get indexed better. You know, Google, Bing, Yahoo can read your site better. And you can see in this Easy Blue application here, you know, everything is included right where it needs to be. Uh, this is Max with AIM Website Pro. Sorry for the long video, but I just wanted to give people an overview of Easy Blue and what I was doing, what it's all about, and how it's going to benefit people. Thanks.